Deadless younger sister Perdix, had placed her son Kalos under his charge to be taught the mechanical arts as an apprentice. He was an apt scholar and showed striking evidence of ingenuity. While walking on the seashore he picked up a serpent's jaw, imitating it with iron he made a superb saw. He made a pair of compasses by putting two pieces of iron together, connecting them at one end with a rivet and sharpening the other ends. In addition Kalos assisted his uncle Deadless in constructing automatons, the robots of the antiquity, Kalos also worked on Antikythera-like mechanisms, described as the oldest known examples of an analog computer, used among else to predict astronomical positions and eclipses decades in advance and also used to track the four-year cycle of athletic games as the cycle of the ancient Olympic Games.
Carlos eventually outshined his teacher and uncle Dedalus in several fields with his brilliant inventions and garnered great honor and fame and was received several times in audience with the king of Athens Aegeus and was also invited to the palaces and mansions of princes and affluent men. Among the grassroots, Carlos was as popular as the leading sports stars. Dedalus hated to be overshadowed by his apprentice nephew Carlos. For his uncle Dedalus, Carlos had now become a serious competitor for attention and glory. Dedalus was very envious of his nephew's accomplishments and the overwhelming attention he received, so one day when they were together on the top of a high tower near Acropolis in Athens, he took the opportunity to push him off. Witnesses saw Uncle Dedalus push Carlos off the tower so he fell to his death. Horrified witnesses crowded around the dead Carlos on the ground while Uncle Dedalus fled the scene. The witnesses reported the incident to the police. In Athens publicly owned slaves were used by magistrates as a police force called Astinomia, it consisted of a group of 300 Scythian slaves the so-called rod-bearers that when the police arrived at Dedalus' workshop to arrest him, the workshop and his house were empty of belongings, equipment, his family, and assistants. The neighbors said that Dedalus and his entourage and equipment had been transported in many horse-drawn carts to the port city of Piraeus and they then fled by boat to Crete.
Dedalus was tried and convicted for his murder in absentia by an Athenian court, as Dedalus had fled from Athens to Crete where he already had a workshop, a house and properties. After the escape from Athens to Crete, Daedalus was commissioned by King Minos to improve and expand the labyrinth, in which context Daedalus and his fellow architects and engineers consulted with the resident minotaur and the high priests. Daedalus' rival inventor in Crete was Aristeios, who was also employed by King Minos. But there was a bitter rivalry between the two to surpass each other in inventions and become the foremost inventor in Crete and the favorite of King Minos. So when the two scientists ran into each other out in Knossos, it always ended in a loud argument with swear words and curses. Over time, this dispute between them increased in scope and intensity and went so far that military disputes broke out between the inventors who used automaton robots to attack each other's workshops and homes, they also carried out powerful detonations with Greek fire.
Daedalus and Aristaeos sought the support of the goddess of victory Nike in their conflict with each other, but Nike said that they were both needed for Crete and therefore should be reconciled and return from the battlefield to their workshop to work on their inventions to serve the Cretan people and King Minos. Thank you.